Hello, my new instrument has just arrived from Tourman, the uh, music shop, uh, internet shop. Uh, it came with a soft case, a gig bag, and the whole package costs 179 euro. It's electric, I had problems finding an electric one actually, because I play, not with this, but I play with my daughter in a little folk duo, and I want to try and introduce this next year for the festival season. Um, so, what do you do with it? The Irish Bazooki. Um, well, I think most people tune it to G Dad. G, there's four pairs of strings, basically, and you tune each pair to the same note or octave if you wish. So, for example, G, bottom two strings are G. This might be slightly out of tune, but G. Next pair, D. That's an octave, so because if I try to tune the lower D any higher, I'll break it, I just know it will. But you can, you can tune it to the same D. A, D. Yeah, I'll tune. So if you played the top three sets of strings, pairs, you'd sort of have a D chord. But of course you want to play the bottom pair two because it gives you sort of a richer sound so you put your this is a G G sharp A so if you put your first finger on the second fret you've got an A D A D so you've got a D chord if you split up here you'd have D D D A D you can do that too so there you've got your I just 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 play the top three if you don't want to so there's your D. So what else can you play? What other chords can you play? Because we're going to go through a folk song in a minute, just to give you an idea. So, G. Our folk song in G. So we're going to play G, which is the first finger on the first fret of the A, A pair. The G chord. If you wanted to, you could play at the fifth fret. First finger on the D pair second finger on the A pair and leave the bottom pair and the top pair open. That's also a G. It sounds the same. It's sort of nice to play up the fretboard a bit. So you've got your D and then you've got your G. You need a C which is the first finger on the second fret of the D, second finger the second fret of the top pair, the D, and the third finger on the third fret of the A. Leave the bottom two strings open, but you can play it. It's a C. In this song we also need to have a E minor, which is basically barring the top three pairs at the second fret. You can do it like this. And you can still play the bottom strings open, it sounds fine. Or you can play it like that, which I do. An E minor. There are many chords you can play. You can play an A. No, we're not going to use an A, but you can play an A, which is uh, there's the D at the second fret. Uh, this is the D chord, I mean. At the second finger onto the second fret of the D pair, and then the, if you like, the third finger on the second fret of the top pair. A or A minor. We're not going to use that particular chord. So we're going to try Whiskey in the Jam, uh, which is in G. And so we can either try it up here, or you can put first finger there. And play all the other ones open, G. As I was going over, E minor, the cock and carry mountain, C. I saw Captain Farrell back to G and the money he was counting. Repeat it. First produce my pistol. E minor. Then produce my rapier. See, I said, stand and deliver. G or the devil, he may take you. Then you need the chorus which is D. 
Mushering Damadu Damada See Back for my daddy oh see Back for my daddy oh hmm. G there's whiskey D and there's G <laughs> So it's easy. I mean to play it well. I guess it's not so easy, but just to play it is really, really easy. Because once you get it tuned right, this tends to go out of tune a little bit, but I think the string the new. That's the problem. Okay, you can also tune it like this, but the top pair E. So you're, you're, you're tuning up the, the, the top pair from D to E. G, D, A, E, apparently. But then you have to find some different fingering for the, for the chords. I think there are other ways to tune it too. I don't know anything about them. So I shall continue my quest to for knowledge, thirst for knowledge, and then maybe come back and show you a bit more. If you want to get a bazooki, all the best with it. It's good fun. And uh, it does make a different sound to a guitar. Gives it a sort of a folky feel. Best of luck. Bye.